How are you uh, enjoying your new gear? You usually Jeans. wear like the same thing. Well, no, I'm saying usually wear like the same bl blue uh, <laughs> shirt every day. Russell had one color, Adidas has a different color. <laughs> <laughs> so it's an improvement then, you can switch yeah, them out. it's different for sure. What flavor did you choose today? I guess the ice cream, me with the ice cream. Oh, I didn't have any ice cream. Huh? <laughs> Us fat boys are losing weight. <laughs> <laughs> so how's practice been? It's been weeks. okay. I mean, you know, it's it's like everything. It's like football camp. There's some that's good, some that's not good. Uh, we've got a lot of work in. We've got to play a lot. Uh, we'll go tomorrow in shells and cut back a little bit, and then scrimmage Saturday, and then Monday we'll start scouts. I imagine you'll keep the the gold on the quarterbacks for probably given yeah, for the situation. Probably ever since there's <laughs> only two of them. Yeah. Yeah. When well, do you expect to get Graham back? Uh, he may be back tomorrow, either tomorrow or the next day. I'm not sure. Going through camp thus far, what's your biggest concern heading into the season? I think just uh, experience, like in the secondary and depth at certain positions. If we can keep everybody healthy, uh, then you know I think we got a chance. But like any team, there's very few teams that that have depth past a couple of guys, and you get a couple of guys hurt at the same position, and it's a killer. What do you like thus far? Well, I think the effort's been good, and uh, it, you know we kind of pride ourselves on trying to be tough and hard nosed and physical, and uh, that's what you try to transcend. That's the way we practice. So hopefully it carries over to the games. From what you've seen from the defense so far, <clears throat> do you anticipate creating more disruptive plays in the backfield? I hope so. I mean that's why we're doing what we're doing, trying to create some negative plays. So I would hope so. You said, I remember when uh, Nate was hired, that one thing you liked about them just watching them play, I think it was in the bowl game, that they played going 100 miles an hour. And I'm curious if you've seen, I mean, it's, I don't know if it's hard to tell going against your guys, but well, do you see that sort of quality? Yeah, I mean, we're trying to coach it, but it's not like we didn't try to coach that right. before. So, uh, you know, we'll see. I think you can play faster if you're sure of what you're doing. Is that what you're saying? I mean, do you that they have well, I think that's offense, defense, no matter what. If I'm out there playing and I have to think about what I'm supposed to do, it slows me down as opposed to I got that gap and boom, here I go. Right. I'm getting upfield or I'm, you know, no have decision. You, have huh? you seen that, that confidence? Yeah, point? I think they've created a lot of negative plays in practice. Right. And I don't know whether that's because they're any good or because we're really bad. So, but at the same time, they've given up a lot of big plays in practice. I don't know if that's because they're really bad or we're really good. Mm -hmm. You won't know until about three games when you start playing other people. So do you get anxious because every day that goes by, you get closer to the season? Yeah, I get start to get anxious at this point simply because you, you worry about injuries. And once you get to the scout thing, then you kind of take a little bit of a, a sigh of relief, but still it's – Fluke. I mean, you can look at what happened to Lucas, and, and it's just fluke. You know, you just step wrong, and and uh, it happens. So you just you don't know. Have you got a timetable kind of on his recovery time now for surgery? I would doubt he would be back this year. With the defense now blitzing from all different angles, different spots on the field, does that help prepare the offensive line for pass protection any better than it used to? No. I mean, we worked on pass protection all the time anyway. Sometimes it just comes down and you've got to be able to block guys. How yeah. much of the uh, of, has the offense been implemented so far? All of it. All of it? Mm -hmm. okay. How's Amari Walton doing at corner? I know that you may need one of those guys to play. Well, he's doing okay. I mean, I noticed him. All those young guys out there are doing okay, I think. Has Jalen King been able to, to do some yeah, stuff? Yeah, he's been live for about a week. You said it would be 14 days or so before you knew which one of the freshmen would be able to contribute. With Saturday, with the scrimmage. Saturday will help. We'll know on Monday who's staying up with the varsity, and if they stay up, odds are they'll be playing at some point. Uh, a lot of that depends on depth and who's hurt mm -hmm. and how quick they pick it up and and all those things. Are you gonna have to travel more guys in the in the fall? Yeah, just the conference has a rule. You can only travel 70, I think, in the conference. It might be 72, but that's that's the rule. Has Steven Dolphus come back? Yeah, there? he's been practicing for a week. How tight's the competition with him and uh, Malachi? Uh, hey, you know, we'll evaluate. Steven's still got a cast on, so they're going to cut it down tomorrow or whatever, so he's a little bit different. But they'll both play. I mean, right now, to me, Malachi's 
done a really good job. He's probably the third receiver, I would guess. Mm -hmm. I haven't sat down and talked with Buzz. Quan, Quan will be in goal on Saturday? Yeah, he's, he's always in goal. I mean, he had one last series last Saturday. Yeah. Here's Tobias. How do you feel about his readiness to be the <laughs> number two? He's hit and miss. He's, he does some really good things, and then he's like a young quarterback. He, so, uh, but I, I could call a game with Tobias. Anything else for Coach? Okay.